Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I am doing the summer go-to tag. I was tagged in this a while ago. This was originally created by Little Miss Lipstick and Little Miss Nat here on YouTube. I will have their channels listed down below. And I was tagged in the original video, and I had this on my list of tags to do, which is really long. <laughs> And I was reminded of this tag when Kaylee Wesley just posted her video a couple of days ago, and I loved her answers. <laughs> and her love of mac and cheese rivals my love of mac and cheese. So this brought this up, and I realized we're halfway through summer. I have to do the summer tag, so I will have Little Miss Lipsticks, Little Miss Nats, and Kaylee Wesley's channels all linked down below. But it's just a cute summer-themed short tag, and I thought, why not? It's summer. It's summer is not my favorite holiday holiday summer is not my favorite season <laughs> but we do live in the moment and appreciate what we have right now so let's jump into the tag the first question is what is your go-to summer outfit i don't know if you can tell but i am indeed wearing all black <laughs> i i do love black i love normally in the winter i love to wear like leggings and a hoodie that's just like my go-to in the summer I love summer dresses. I have uh, bike shorts are also my go-to. I have to wear bike shorts at all time. But uh, summer dresses are just like perfect sundresses. They're light, they're flowy. You can wear them to work if you throw a cardigan on over them, which is what I'm doing right now. And you can dress them up, you can dress them down. So I have a closet full of dresses. And even like in the winter, you can make them appropriate if you like also put maybe a heavier cardigan on on top or leggings on underneath with some nice cute boots. I just love dresses. Dresses I think are great for every season. So in the summer, I live in my Tom's shoes, which is why I have a Tom's tan right now, and sundresses. And most of them are black. Question number two is what is your go-to summer vacation? Now, I did not plan my vacation for the summer. I'm not a huge, like I said, summer isn't my favorite season. <laughs> So I actually planned my long vacation. It's going to be in October, the first week of October. Uh, but for the summer, I wouldn't say maybe like a vacation. I'd say maybe like a day trip. I do live in New Jersey and we do have the entire length of the Jersey Shore. Ignore the show. My family was born and raised in Jersey. And so I've been going down there since I was like a little kid. And I still love going back to certain towns. I specifically like the beach. Uh, what is it? Sandy Hook. The Sandy Hook Beach is awesome. I go there all the time. And I really like Seaside Heights. It's really cute. Like any cute little town with a boardwalk, you know, it's adorable. Play some games, walk along the beach. Is If you got to pay to get on the beach, though, that's the one thing that's kind of really annoying is you got to pay to get on most beaches anyway. But <laughs> that's kind of like my favorite summer beach trip. Whereas if I'm planning a longer vacation, it's going to be like in the fall or the winter. Question number three is what is your go-to summer beverage? Mm. I do like cocktails. Uh, I think my favorite for the summer is a nice mojito. Very nice. Some light rum, some mint. It just, oh, I sip that and I feel like I am on like a big porch relaxing in the shade as I get fanned. Like that's what, that's what a mojito makes me feel like. So I think for the summer, the mojito is kind of my go-to. Question number four is what is your go-to glowy product? Now, I'm not a huge fan of like liquid uh, bronzer, no, what was I trying to say? Liquid highlighters or anything liquid glowy. So I still go for like a matte kind of overall look and then I mix it up with a actual powder highlight. So my go-to would still be a powder highlight and I can't pick any other one other than one of my favorites, my holy grail. This is from Becca and this is the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Royal Glow. I've hit a hell of a lot of pan on this. This is great for the summer because it is a little bit darker, but it still looks great on my skin tone. And I do tan a little bit in the summer. This is honestly the palest I've ever been but I do still tan a bit. So this is like my favorite glowy product. And I will go for, like I said, an all matte look, but I'll add highlight up here. I'll add a little bit here on my nose. If I'm feeling a bit adventurous, I might take a little bit like up onto my forehead, but with the amount of that I sweat <laughs> and with my like day-to-day -day life having to commute to work, I would rather add in the artificial powder glow than deal with like actual sweat and glow. Question number five is your go-to summer hair removal process. So, I am Puerto Rican. I have dark hair and I have a lot of hair. 
Uh, so I, I just shave. In the summer, I literally have to shave like every day. Yeah, it sucks, but it works and it's a little bit more affordable than like getting waxed or whatnot. So I like shave my legs almost every day. I shave my arms, which I don't know how people feel about that, but I like it. I shave my arms about once a week, like on a Sunday. Um, and I use a face razor to kind of keep my brows in check. I pluck, I use a face razor and I also use it cause I do get a little bit of hair on like the edges of my lip. So that's kind of what I do. Shaving's my go-to. If I was rich and lived in the perfect world, I'd probably get waxed or laser hair removal. But for right now, I just shave a lot. Number six is your go-to summer makeup product, and that would be a good matte foundation. I cannot make it through the summer without a good matte foundation. And one of my holy grails is this one. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I have the shade Shortbread, which is still a little dark for me, but I can always lighten it. This is, I'm not wearing it today. I'm actually testing out another foundation because I'm doing my upcoming best summer foundation video, which I think I'm gonna film after this because I've been testing foundations for a bit. This one is one of my tried and true holy grail matte foundations for the summer. I panned an entire one of these last summer and I went and I rebought this one for the summer and I love it. Then again, this works really well if you if you either have oily skin or if you sweat a lot in the summer. This isn't something I would reach for in the winter. So this is kind of like my go-to when the summer comes. Do I have this on me? If not, I'm buying it product. And last but not least, number seven is your go-to summer picnic slash backyard cookout dish. Oh, I love barbecue. Barbecue anything. A good burger, a good homemade burger. Oh. Mm. Kaylee Wesley talked about mac and cheese. I love me some good homemade mac and cheese. Oh. Corn of the cob. I'm making myself hungry right now. Basically, barbecue anything and I'll take it. So that's everything for this tag. I had a lot of fun doing it. I feel like I don't focus as much on the summer because I don't really like it. But there are some good points to summer. There are some good things about summer. And I need to slow down and actually appreciate those. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will have everyone's channel linked and listed down below in the description box. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.